Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to take the derivative of cosine of x using the definition of derivative. So this is also the, the proof of the derivative of cosine of x. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This is the definition of derivative right here. Limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And this is our function y equals cosine of x. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this function into our the into our d definition of derivative form. So we got limit as h goes to zero of cosine of x plus h minus cosine of x over h. So when we plug in this cosine function into the definition of derivative, this is what we get. Now <clears throat> I'm going to use the property of cosine of a plus b here to expand this. So we know that cosine of a plus b equals cosine of a times cosine of b minus sine of a times sine of b. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in this right here. So we get limit as h goes to 0. All right, here we have cosine of x plus h minus cosine of x over h. And now we plug in this property for cosine of x plus h. So we expand this right here. So we get limit as h goes to 0. We get cosine of x times cosine of h minus sine of x times sine of h minus cosine of x over h. Now I'm going to bring <coughs> like terms together and then I'm going to factor out. Uh, so limit as h goes to 0 cosine of x times cosine of h minus cosine of x minus sine of x times sine of h divided by h. <coughs> now I'm going to go ahead and uh, factor out cosine of x from these two terms. So we get limit as h goes to 0. We factor out cosine of x. And so we get cosine of h minus 1 minus sine of x times sine of h. Everything divided by h. Now I'm going to break this uh, into two different, uh, two separate fractions. So we get a limit as h goes to 0. We get cosine of x. And we get cosine of h minus 1 over h minus sine of x times sine of h over h. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite it again in a little different form. So we get cosine of x times cosine of h minus 1 over h minus sine of x times sine of h over h. Now, there are two properties, uh, trigonometric properties for the limits that we're going to apply here. One is 1 minus cosine of h over h. Limit as h goes to 0 equals 0. And the other one is limit as sine of h goes to 0 of sine of h over h equals 1. So here we have a cosine of h minus 1. So we're going to do a little manipulation to bring it into this form. 
So we know that 1 minus cosine of h equals negative cosine of h minus 1. So then cosine of h minus 1 equals negative of 1 minus cosine of h. Okay, so we can go ahead and make the substitution of negative times 1 minus cosine of h here. So we get limit as h goes to 0 sine of x and in parentheses for cosine of h minus 1 we're going to put this negative 1 minus cosine of h and it was divided by h right here minus sine of x times sine of h over h. So now we know from the trig properties that this is equal to 0 as h goes to 0 and this is equal to 1 as h goes to 0. The limit of this function is equal to 1 and the limit of this function is equal to 0 because negative time this is 0 so negative times 0 is going to be just 0 so we and the sine of x is just going to be a constant so sine of x times 0 is going to be just 0 so we get limit as h goes to 0 we get sine of x times 0 minus sine of x times 1 okay so when we simplify this we get this is equal to negative sine x. So the derivative of cosine x equals negative sine x. That's what we just proved. So this is the derivative of cosine x. All right, hopefully this helped. And um, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.